video I want to go over the directions reduction problem on Code Wars. And what it states is a man was given directions to go from one point to another. The directions were north, south, west, east. Clearly north and south are opposite, west and east too. Going one direction and coming back the opposite direction right away is a needless effort. So given that information, we can actually start looking at our first example. This will be our directions list that they provide us as input and it will be called R in our function and this will be the answer or the most simplified version of our input. The way we simplify it is we look at our first so look at our first element and if our next element is the opposite of the previous one we just remove them both because going one unit north and then immediately one unit south is the same as going nowhere at all so we remove them. That leaves us with this in our directions list South and east are not opposite, so they are fine. East and west are opposite, so that's the same as going nowhere. We remove them. Leaves us with south, north, and west. South and north are opposite. We remove them, and that just leaves us with west, and that is what we return at the end. So if we look over here at this example, this will be our directions list, and this will be the answer. We are going to actually go over to this website and look at this stack. The way I solve this problem is by utilizing a stack. And we're going to go through a few iterations of how to solve this problem. And once I do and you get the, gym, the gist on how to do it, what we're going to do is we're going to then start coding it out. So the first thing I did is I created an opposite dictionary, as you can see here. And every key is just a direction, north, south, east, west. And the value of each key is just the opposite direction. So the opposite of north is south. The opposite of south is north, and so on. The way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to iterate throughout every single element or item in this directions list. And for every element, we're going to check two things. First, we're going to check to see if the length of our stack is empty. If it is empty, like it is in this first iteration, we're going to push it to our stack. So north, we're on the first iteration, our stack is empty. We're going to push north to our stack, like so. So now we have a stack, the length is one. For the next iteration, we go to south. Since the length of our stack is not empty, what we do is we look up the opposite value of south. If that opposite value of south is the last thing that we push to our stack, we're going to then pop it from our stack. So we look up in our dictionary the value of south. We find south. The value is north. We then check, is this the last thing we push to our stack? It is. So we then pop north because they are opposite. Then we go on to the third iteration. The third iteration is south. The length of our stack is empty, so we just push it like so. The fourth iteration is east. Uh, the, our item is east. And our length of our stack is not empty. So what we do is we look up the opposite value of east, which the opposite value is west. Is west the last thing we push to our stack? It is not, so we push west. And I'm sure by the by now you understand how I did this. We just do the same thing for every element. And let's get us into solving this problem. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create that dictionary, that opposite dictionary. So I'm just going to paste it right here. The key and value will be the opposite. Next, we're going to create our stack. And we're just going to create a stack implement utilizing a list. So there's our stack. Next, we're going to iterate throughout every single element in our directions list. So we're just going to say for i in r. Then we got to perform those two checks. If the length of our stack is zero or the last item that we push to our stack is the opposite of our current item, if that makes sense. So if the length of our stack is equal to zero or the last item that we push to our stack, so we can use negative in in indexing, sorry, or if the last item that we push to our stack does not equal the opposite, if any of these are the case, remember what we do. We just push that item i to our stack, and since we're using a list, we'll use a function called append to mimic that, that function. So we're just going to say stack.append i, then we're going to continue on to the next iteration in our directions list. However, if none of these are the case, that means that we are going to just pop it 
from our list because if the last item we push to our list does equal the opposite, sorry, opposite of i. So the opposite of i, if it does equal the opposite of i, then what we're gonna do, like we did on that website, is remove it from our stack. So we can say stack.pop. This will just remove the last item from our stack. And then at the end of this, we can just return stack because the stack will be the most simplified version of our directions list called array. So we're just going to return stack and this should work. Let's attempt it. Yes, all 25 test cases passed. So that was the directions reduction problem on Code Wars. I hope that you found this video valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.